Princess Mia is ready to go. You want all the pumpkins? We have to do a fall Trader Joe's haul. Ryan is on daddy duty tonight. This is weird. And we're gonna do the second annual chili cook-off. Jazz mine up. I added some cornbread. They have a Halloween map of all the houses that are decorated. This is the first house, which I can't even believe it's a house. This Beetlejuice one is so well done. We're kicking off this vlog with the very first Halloween costume of the year, an unexpected one, because we weren't sure if one of our creators at work was going to throw a Halloween party. He decided he is, so I had to think of like, what the heck do I want to put together with a few days notice? And I thought the Princess Mia would be a really cute one. And then my coworker is also gonna be Princess Mia, but she's going to be the schoolgirl. And when she like got her hair done and glowed up, and then I'm gonna be the tiara of Princess Mia. So I gotta get my makeup done. And then I'm going to go head over to the party. My dress, unfortunately, did not arrive in time. So I'm just making do with what I have in my closet. I tried to convince my other coworker to be Joe, but but he ended up not being able to come. So it's just gonna be the two Princess Mias bringing another Y2K costume to life. I'm trying to make my eyebrows look bigger because Princess Mia has very fluffy eyebrows, even though I'm the prettier version of Princess Mia, which now looking back, like she was stunning before her glow up. I thought I could just shape these to be a little bit fluffier and look more like Anne Hathaway. By the way, are we not just so excited for Princess Diaries 3. I mean, really, that's why this costume came to life. I thought we must honor the queen of Genovia. This is when I feel like I go a little too overboard for costumes. I have to commit, if we're doing Princess Mia, I have to dye my hair brown, but I could only find a magic root cover-up at the Walgreens, so we'll see if this works. Oh, I just got an eyeball. Oh no, not on my forehead. I need to be careful with this. It's working. Okay. We're working with it. It's definitely darker. I hope this doesn't dye my hair in real life. That would be slightly tragic before I have to travel. All right, we have dark brown hair, except for the back. I'm just not gonna go back there. I don't wanna waste product. So here we go, we got the Princess Mia bun done in the dark brown hair color, and now I need to put on my tiara, my headphones, and my dress. Oh, and I almost forgot my gloves, which will really bring the costume together. Put the tiara on first, or the headphones? I think I'll situate the tiara first, and we'll work around that, because it's much bigger. Cute, what a great tiara. Amazon coming in hot. Okay, great. That's situated, now I have to take the cord and I think just like pop it through the front of my dress. It's good together! Okay, now I gotta get the sunglasses and the gloves. Order sunglasses, not realizing I already had a pair the exact same style, so I'm gonna have to return these. And now for the gloves! What an easy, quick Halloween costume. And for actual Halloween, our family costume is going to be what Finn decided, so I'm excited to execute that for our little man. Also, I'm planning his birthday party. All right, Princess Mia is ready to go. Good morning from me and my witch's brew. You want all the pumpkins? All into our pumpkin patch. Look at all of them. All shapes and sizes. The pumpkin corner. Yuki <laughs> bats and ghosts. You want to make one of these? Okay. It's that time of year again where we have to do a fall Trader Joe's haul. I have some tried and trues and also some new items. The pumpkin tortilla chips are my favorite to eat with chili. I get a few bags each year and then the fall harvest salsa is also really nice to pair with it. A new item I don't think I've had before is the harvest apple salad kit that has cheddar cheese, apple cinnamon chips, pecans, and an apple vinaigrette. Sounds lovely to go with some of these raviolis. I love the butternut squash. I think that this is probably my favorite over the pumpkin ravioli and this is 
year round, so win-win. And I do eat butternut squash, squash year round, but typically I like to keep like the pumpkin flavorings for fall. Some ghosts and bats crispy potato chips for Finn. And then I saw these Halloween sprinkles. I couldn't pass them up. I just thought they were so cute and I want to do some baking with Finn. So we got to think of something that we can use those for. I love getting their organic pumpkin. It's really clean and yummy. And we like to make a lot of pumpkin treats during this time of year. The butternut squash mac and cheese honestly has been sold out and I only picked up one just to be kind to others. But if I see more, I'm going to get more. I love this this time of year. I love the Honeycrisp apple scented candle from there. It's soy wax. It throws pretty well for a small tin can and I already used one up. So this is my second one for the season. I love the organic fall zucchetti pasta. This with the bolognese. I love how the little like pumpkin shape has these little holes in the center and then your bolognese can sit in the middle there. I love anything that has a little section where things can fall in. It just makes the food taste better. This is one of my favorite as well that I look forward to year round is the creamy Toscano cinnamon dusted cheese. Look, let me show you where it's dusted. It's dusted on the side. It is top tier in my opinion. And then I saw the white Stilton cheese with cranberries. Now I'm thinking this is a November product because I did see the white Stilton and we had it with apples and pears and it was yummy. Finn ate the whole thing. I got some non-dairy oat creamer cinnamon bun flavor for my matchas. I thought this would be a fun little fall twist. And then Greek yogurt that's flavored honey crisp apple and cinnamon. Then I saw this. I have never seen this before. Maple brown sugar butter. Interesting. But yeah, that's our little Trader Joe's fall haul. And I think my son just woke up from his nappy. Having a friend over for dinner and we're going to probably watch a little movie for Halloween time. I'm just making this fall harvest salad from Trader Joe's. Something like this little pocket like apple chips, pecans, and apple vinaigrette. Just something super simple and easy. I'll have that Princess Diaries hair dye in my hair. I need to wash that out tonight. I didn't really film last night just because I was working and just hanging out with my coworkers, so just was being present. It was fun to execute that costume and got me in the mood for Halloween and our family costume. Is that yogurt yummies? Ooh, yeah. You look like you're Santa Claus. You're the nightmare before Christmas. You want me to have a bite? Okay, I'm coming. Um. <laughs> you bought it. <laughs> Being the dinner simple with the salad, I mean, you can make potatoes, add some butternut squash soup on the stove, which was already pre made. I just kind of spiced it up with some. What's the problem? You want me to come back? Uh, you ready to get out? Okay. I have not been able to find my skeleton onesie, so I'm borrowing Ryan's because tonight I'm going to meet my coworkers and we're going to Synespia. The movie they're showing is Trick or Treat, which I like. It's not my favorite, but I haven't seen it in a while, so I am excited to go and watch it. And they host it at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, so it's extra spooky. I love when they host it there. I'm packing up my things right now, and Ryan is on daddy duty tonight. Finn is in the living room right now watching Scooby-Doo 2. I saw these movies as a kid. I saw the first one in theaters. I've always loved the live actions. They just feel so nostalgic to me when I watch them. I love that Finn is loving it right now too. I love the cartoon, but I think they did a great job with the live action. I kind of wish they had a third. Is that Ruben Stutter? Whoa, throwback, literally. I mean, this was made in the early 2000s, but the cast was spot on. It was so good. Be cozy there, Stormy girl. Here's what I'm bringing to movie night. Everyone bring something. I'm bringing pumpkin tortilla chips. I have some fall harvest salsa in there, some almond butter pretzels, these milk chocolate peanut butter cups, which sound lovely right now. I might not on the way there. And then a little skeleton for ambiance, as well as this little flickering candle, because obviously you can't bring real candles in, but people bring decor. It's cute. I made it. Now I need to go find the crew. They already set up camp. Here's our spooky ambiance. Maddie brought these really cool candles that flicker. This is weird. Last night's movie was really fun. I forgot how much I liked that movie. I don't think I've seen it many times, but I hadn't seen it in a long time. And it's really creative if you've never seen it. It's not like 
too overly gory. Today we are making chili. Oh, and happy Sunday. Where are you going? I thought you were gonna help mama. Come on, you want this? Put this in? So Ben's gonna help me make chili. I'm having a few of my coworkers over. And we're gonna do the second annual chili cook-off. I'm keeping it smaller this year. Cause I honestly wasn't really, let me help you, planning to do it. But then my coworkers were asking me about it. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Okay, I guess that works. Here, Ben, you wanna put the tomatoes in? You like this food and cumin? Good thing there's not much in there. Just pour the rest in. Good job. All done. You want to go put that in the trash? Mm. Oh, there's still more in there. Try to get the rest. Aggressive. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, I'll pour it in there. Bye-bye. Pour them in, please. Job. I have one more can we gotta do. I think I'm gonna try a new chili recipe and actually go by recipe and see how this one is. I obviously don't care to win my own chili cook off. I thought I would just try a new recipe and have fun with it. What's going on with Buzz? Is that your Buzzy? You love your Buzzy? Oh, that is so sweet. He loves you too. Why are you sucking on his eyeball, honey? Are your teeth hurting you? I know. We'll get you some medicine. Okay, you want to do the last can of beans? Got it? Good job. We're headed into Party City because I need to grab some sampling cups for the chili cook-off and salsa. Just so fun to come into Party City during Halloween time. I feel like it's very nostalgic for me. Go ahead, explore. Oh, you want to get in? All right. I like these cobweb bowls for chips and stuff for parties. I also think I'm gonna get him some of these jellies for the windows because he really liked these for Easter. And these are the cheapest I've seen. Ben, you wanna get these? Put them in the back? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Let's continue on our journey here. I know, those are spooky. Okay, yeah. Remember, these things aren't real. Oh, look at all the things. Yeah, those are also skeletons, but they have pumpkin heads. Hello! Yeah! Woo! Oh. Ghost face! Yeah, like it doesn't look like they have the wall of costumes. There's the costume from the movie we saw last night. You want this one? Spooky. I don't want to put it on. That's spooky. Do you like this place? Party City didn't have anything that I was looking for. Also, no wall of costumes. Finn is throwing a meltdown because he is so sad to leave Party City. He was obsessed with the balloon wall. Oh boy. Um, we are headed to the grocery store to see if we can find some sampling cups and spoons. For dessert, we're going to keep it simple. I'm gonna take these Halloween sprinkles, and sprinkle it over the pumpkin sheet cake from Trader Joe's, and then cut them into little squares. And then I also got the little pumpkin mousse cakes, and that's about it for the desserts. Last year I did a whole like caramel apple bar, but truthfully, I just don't have the energy to put more into the chili cook-off this year. That's okay. The sprinkles turned out cute. Now I'm just gonna cut them into little squares and then plate them up on this tray. Sometimes you guys, simpler is better because it keeps your sanity and I'm learning that. And though I love to be a little bit extra with my details of parties, Sometimes you just can't go out for every event and you still have a great time. I got myself somewhat dressed. I also have my little topping station over here in the corner. I'm just prepping some of the toppings. Almost time for everyone to come. You gonna show everybody your toys? Maddie's out here. She's ready to win. Got a white chicken chili. We're being quiet because. Yes. Family recipe. Oh. One year old recipe. <laughs> My mom uses the second recipe. place last year, but she's really added some additional touches so that she can win this yes, year. I'm perfecting this recipe. Yeah, and now that we've had a plot twist of toppings are now included, yeah, I'm, I'm we're over here scrounging. I'm always stressed. I really am. If you guys have any suggestions, comment below. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Honestly, avocado can't go wrong. <gasps> Tortilla chips. No one's that, done that no, yet. I was, I was. Okay, do you want me to grab these? Yeah, I was like, the, the, the Do you want ones? these to leave ones? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice touch. Okay. Wow, things are really coming together. <laughs> Jazz mine up. I added some cornbread and some white cheddar cheese as my toppings. 
This is a new recipe, so I'm not really like too excited to present it because I don't know what I should have tasted it actually. Let me go and taste it, and then I might be able to jazz it up. Some. Mm. Okay, it's pretty good. I ran out of chili powder, but this will do. All right, I'm gonna serve it up. In Paul, oh, since oh, you guys oh, have tied, you guys have tied again. You have tied again. So what does that mean? So you're gonna have to flip a coin. What? And then you guys have to tell us who's eating heads or tails. Um. <laughs> the winner of the chili cook-off into the trophy it is Maddie's white chicken chili for the win with the jalapeno on top. Dodgers are going to the World Series. I just got back from work and I think tonight we're going to do something fun and spooky. We're going to go over to Burbank because apparently they have a Halloween map of all the houses that are decorated and it looks really cool. So I thought we'd get some in and out for dinner and then drive about 35 minutes over to Burbank, hopefully with no traffic. I'm going to get Finn in his little spooky pajamas and I'm also going to get into my spooky pajamas and have a fun little night Halloween house hunting. One of my favorite traditions of the holidays is looking at people's decor and what they come up with. Is that your book of choice? You like that book, Finn? Last night, he took his pillow and put it inside of his Halloween playhouse and laid down and shut the door. It was so stinking cute. I wish he would actually sleep in there. That would be adorable and super cozy, I think. Okay, let's get you ready. Where is Finn Riley? Where did he go? Is he in here? <laughs> Peekaboo! I found you! What? You want to bring that book in? Okay. Here you go. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to go in. I'll come with you. I promise. We entered the neighborhood with all the decorations. Oh, this one's really good. This is the first house, which I can't even believe it's a house. Obviously, the theme is circus. This book took so long to do. All right, let's go walk over here and see some other parts of the house. Creepy. Whoa. That's crazy. Where did they store all this stuff? Bunch of pirates hanging out. Spooky. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the house though. So we're here in the tree. With all the skeletons going up it. Cool spider lights going through. some surgery on aliens. They have the Corpse Bride characters and some Beetlejuice props. Wow, this is so cool. I like this one too. It's more kid friendly. The witch hats are cool. Yeah, the Jack is good. I also like the Frank. Oh no, that's the Herman Munster. Theory elimination is very important. It adds to it. I like this one because most of them have a neon flare to them. <laughs> like, where do you find this? Maybe they made it up on their own. I love the little pumpkin lanterns lining the sides. But you feel like you just keep looking and you just keep seeing more and more. So what I like about this map is that it, it literally just gives you the address and you can just go on your own little journey but most of these streets are already lined with houses so you don't miss much you can really just go to one spot and stumble upon a bunch of different ones oh look at this one let's go over here and look i love these tall skeletons they really pack a punch here oh the skeleton has landed on top of some embers He's burning, oh no. This one doesn't really have much of a theme, I don't think. But it's cool. I think I'd go with the witch theme if I had to choose. I haven't seen anyone do that yet. I'm liking the banner lining. We got clowns are the theme it seems to be around here. Not really for me, but I appreciate the efforts. Here's their take on Beetlejuice. 
skeleton Beetlejuice. <laughs> Creative. This Beetlejuice one is so well done. It's incredible. He said that the real life Beetlejuice is coming to live at 8 p.m. We won't be here for it, but in the meantime, we can appreciate him underground. <laughs> wow, I love it. This is too good. Like, how are they doing that? Oh, I see the pole. That is so creative. Spooky, there he is. His arms are going all the way over. Crazy. We had to come to another Beetlejuice house because it's the year of Beetlejuice. This one's really well done as well. You can actually interact with it and then it starts playing this song and everything starts to move. And then over here, we have the big serpent crawling. I like that it's interactive so you can push for candy. And then it starts doing all the different animatronics. This was a really nice touch. I haven't seen anyone else have these characters. More fun. Pour myself some cold apple cider and I'm gonna go snuggle up and probably watch some sort of Halloween movie. I feel like I'm starting to get the itch to go a bit more spookier and scarier with my movies. So leaning into the Halloweens, the Nightmare Before Christmases. I just really like those, like the week of Halloween. I cannot believe it's next week. It's truly blowing my mind how quickly these months are flying by. And I feel like because we went to Vermont, it took away a weekend of like fully enjoying my decor and then we're gone to go home to trick-or-treat, celebrate Finn's birthday over on the East Coast. So that's another weekend down that I don't get to enjoy my decor, which I'm not complaining about because I absolutely love my trip to Vermont and I have to go back East for Halloween. But it's still just like crazy to wrap my head around how quickly the months truly just fly by. So that's why it's so important to decorate early if you are feeling it because Soon enough, you'll be decorating for the next season. This is such good apple cider from Trader Joe's. So, I'm going to be doing that tonight. I'm so glad that we went to go look at the Burbank Halloween houses because that really put me in the Halloween spirit. And I don't think I've seen decor to that level before. Like, I thought the one neighborhood that we go to in Maryland was insane but it's a different feel, right? Like, I absolutely love it. It feels like a Hallmark Town, the one that I'm talking about but this one felt like a movie set in a neighborhood it was intense how as you saw how off the charts they go with their decor i have no idea where they're storing all that stuff if you're in the la area i highly recommend going up there and then i also heard that toluca lake has some really great halloween decor so maybe next year we'll be able to do that there are a few things i I didn't get to do this year that I was hoping to get to, but the weeks just were flying by. So I will have to save them for next year, like Night of the Jacks. And then I was thinking about Mr. Bum's pumpkin patch, but I think the idea of it sounds a little bit better than actually going to it. I don't know, maybe they've changed it, but the one year I went, it was like literally in a parking lot and kind of had a weird feeling just because I'm used to like going to a farm or like a big, oh, I should have gone to Underwood Family Farms. That's what I should have done. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog so that I can start another one because I'm trying to crank out these videos for you guys to continue to keep you in the cozy, festive spirit. Because we all know, as an adult, it is hard. The way that we get in the spirit is to watch things. Well, at least that's how I get in the spirit and go out and look for Halloween decor. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this made you feel a little bit more spooky and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.